course, the big game of the day, and we can't emphasize the word big enough. The Fiesta Bowl coming up shortly here on NBC. The showdown for number one between Notre Dame and, of course, West Virginia. And Jimmy and Coach, uh, you have one team, 10 national titles, another team going for their first national championship in almost a century. So I'm kind of wondering from the two of you, which is the more pressurable situation to be in, to never have been there before, or to have all that tradition weighing on your shoulders? Well, what we have to remember is that none of these players have actually been in a national championship game before, although Notre Dame going after its 11th title, they have not won a championship in more than a decade. And so the players who are there on the field today have no experience in a national championship game. The same goes for West Virginia. But you know that Lou Holtz went to Notre Dame to win the national championship, and he's got them primed, ready to go. West Virginia, on the other hand, with Don Neyland, has 25 fifth-year seniors. And I think that this is sort of going to offset the fact that Notre Dame might have more experience going for national championships, although this squad hasn't gone for the national championship. But the fact that West Virginia is in it for the first time with these veteran football players. And uh, Notre Dame, of course, has maybe four or five red shirts. And, and I think that the experience is on West Virginia's side. Yeah, I keep what we might want to keep watching out for is that that West Virginia offensive line has five fifth-year players. They have 13 years of starting experience between them, and they'll be trying to protect Major Harris. We'll talk about right. Major Harris a bit later on. Yeah. Okay, of course, it was a long time ago. In fact, the year was 1891 when West Virginia lost to Washington and Jefferson. The score was 72 to nothing. It was the only game they played that year, but the Mountaineers football program was underway. It took a while, about 100 years to be exact, but the Mountaineers have just about finally reached the summit. And Jim Gray has more on the small town school on the verge of a very major moment. Almost heaven, West Virginia, Blue Ridge Mountain. the home of good old WVU, Morgantown, Monongahela County, and this year it's the home of a pretty darn good football team. How about those Mountaineers, huh? It's the single biggest attraction the state has, West Virginia. It's an area that no one seems to notice. Few even know where it is. It's bordered by five states, and the university in Morgantown suddenly is getting enormous attention. West Virginia has been on the map for a long time, ever since it separated from Virginia during the Civil War. However, it has literally taken an undefeated football team here from tiny little Morgantown for the entire country to finally start and recognize just exactly where West Virginia is located. In fact, it seems as though the Mountaineers are the best geography lesson this state has ever had. But I remember uh, when their athletic director told me that he wanted to interview me, my wife wanted to know where it was, too. So I guess that is true. Uh, you know, we're just a small state. I thought it was, yeah, a lot south. Everybody's telling me to take a visit down West Virginia. I thought it was going to be uh, really hot down there. I thought it was like in the Carolinas, you know, 70 degrees down there. I don't know. There we are. I, I, when I was in geography, I knew where West Virginia is. And uh, maybe our daggone people better study geography a little better. We're there. We've been here for a long time. But it's a guy from Pennsylvania, quarterback Major Harris, who is bringing a lot of goodwill, excitement, and victories to West Virginia. Major is really the general of the Mountaineer attack. An attack which has captured 11 wins, as well as the hearts of an entire state. They probably always had dreams of winning the national championship, but they probably didn't think, you know, that dream would come true. And I think now they just, you know, like I said, they feel like the team feel. We just want to go out there, have fun, and bring back home the trophy. From every corner of this state, people identify with this team. And its success reflects not just on the university, but it's a way that people can say, hey, West Virginia can compete. We can compete nationally. Um, we can be as good as others. Uh, maybe the best. That's an important message for West Virginians. Perfect. Things have been far from that for the people of West Virginia. But maybe the tough times are behind them, and all those emotions spilled over as a spontaneous celebration of appreciation and hope was cast upon the team after their final regular season contest. That's uh, indescribable, really. It's something, you know, each and every player is going to take with them wherever they go, and whether they run, you know, keep in touch or whatever, or tell their grandchildren or, you know, whatever. I mean, I know I'm going to talk about it for the rest of my life because, you know, you can relate to that. 
Well, I'm not sure if I cried or if I uh, laughed. Uh, I'll say this. I had a tear or two in my eye. There was no question about that. It was a very emotional time. Country roads, take me home to the place I belong. And the Mountaineers feel that they are in a place where they belong, playing for the national championship. So while the rest of the country may feel that West Virginians are out of the mainstream, it will be the little guys from out of nowhere against the most famous institution in the land. Everyone across the country is very familiar with the Notre Dame fight song. We've all grown up with it. But what we don't know is the West Virginia fight song. So here's your chance, guys. West Virginia, it's West Virginia, the pride of every mountain here. Come on, you old grads, we're the young lads. It's West Virginia, now we cheer. Rah, 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 time, boys, to make a big noise, no matter what the people say. Gray, never to be seen or heard Ever from again. again. Now, I think this is appropriate, appropriate that we have Jimmy here because an interesting thing took place in the parking lot at the Fiesta Bowl earlier today. Jimmy, as you may or may not know, was married earlier this year to Janice. Well, this is another Janice. This is Janice Cunningham, who married a young man named Bill Messline in the uh, Sun Devil Stadium parking lot today. And uh, they are both former West Virginia students, so not quite where you had your... No, they're taking it to another level. I tried to get married before a football game, but my wife wouldn't go for it. I didn't know anyone got married during the football season before I did. Okay. <laughs> what can we say? All right. We're going to take a break. We will be back with a look at uh, the little man who made a very big impact on Notre Dame, Lou Holtz, right after this.